So for treating potential bacterial gill issues, we want to use a salt solution. We're looking at a 3% salt solution to start. We have that pre-mixed in this five gallon pail. Uh, we may increase that to a, a 4% or a 5% solution, but first we always start with a 3% to let the fish get used to that. Uh, we've got some Atlantic salmon here that have some gill issues that we are gonna treat. So we're gonna pull the fish out of the tank. We're gonna be putting them into uh, oxygenated water of the same temperature for holding. And we're going to take uh, this 3% salt solution which Jared has pre-mixed and we're going to put that into some shallow containers here and we're going to put the fish in a net and dip them into the salt solution uh, for approximately 30 seconds to a minute uh, trying to get them to turn where they actually flip over and uh, then we'll put them back into the tank and what that's doing is that's sloughing the the mucus and probably feed particles and maybe fecal material from their gills and providing them with a clean surface uh, and we're trying to prevent fungus and prevent any irritation so that the fish can uh, begin to heal and we'll see less mortality. Along with that we would also uh, be providing a salt solution maybe a cup of salt a day into this tank uh, morning, afternoon, evening, to continue to provide some uh, salt benefits for the fish just as they uh, try to recover. So this is our first step of trying to uh, prevent further gill issues for these fish. Along with that goes good husbandry, keeping the tank clean. These fish are off feed right now, so we don't see any more uh, excess feed getting into their gills or anything like that. So with that, we're going to start moving some fish. So before we treat all these fish and just start dumping them in the treatment, we want to test the treatment to make sure that you measured the right amount of salt and that it doesn't affect these fish in a bad way. So we're going to take a, just a little sample, you know, 10 or 20 fish, and we're going to bring them over. And so this has a salt solution, 3% salt solution, and then we're going to time it. Ready, set, go. So I got my timer going. And I want to see how they act. Are they freaking out? Are they kind of calm? What are they doing? You know, they're handling it quite well. So maybe they could have even went a little higher. But we'll just give them a little time here. Watch how they react. Well, that's 30 seconds with very little change. around a little bit. So they should be sloughing off the mucus right now. Coming up on a minute. Very little change. Coming up on a minute and a half. We're going to say that's going to be good at a minute and a half and then we're going to put them back into fresh water in the tank. That's good. So, let's give these guys a second, see how they react now. So we're not seeing any adverse effects. Fish aren't going belly up. They're handling this okay. So I think we're okay to go a minute and a half. Just keep an eye on them as you're dipping them. Don't dip too many at a time. Make 
your time and uh, just keep watching them for any adverse effects. If anything changes, then we stop. So as we go through this, after you guys do a couple loads, you've got to replace this water with fresh water for both temperature control and because it's going to fill up with mucus and stuff and we don't want the fish just laying in that.